I'm Gear here with Hack the Toaster and Leap Tex. Um, as you can see today, we have your uh, standard $10 toaster from Target. We're going to hack this, put it into this computer right here. It's an old uh, 486 computer. We're going to hack it so we can make some toast. Um, in case you're playing your like 4-bit video games and you want a bagel or something. So, um, some items you're going to need today. An old computer, obviously. $10 toaster, standard from Target, you know. Okay. You're also going to need either a corded or cordless drill to make uh, getting the screws out a lot easier and faster. Um, and because drills are elite. Okay. Also, have some wire strippers. We have, you're going to need some wire cutters. Standard screwdrivers for the screws um, in case your drill breaks. You need also a utility knife. Standard PVC saw. And uh, we're using leak tape. This is painter's blue tape. Uh, we recommend gaff tape or duct tape, but we cannot get any, so we're using this leak painter's tape. Um, also, you're going to need some bread, standard from the grocery store, or some bagels, whatever uh, you prefer. So this is our first episode. Let's get to work. Okay, what we have here is your standard CD-ROM drive, although you can tell it's been hacked. We have taken the casing off the top, unscrewed the four screws here to take the uh, CD guard off. And what this is going to allow it to do is when this opens up, you can be able to stick the toast on here and it's going to take it in for the uh, toast to be heated up. Alright, now we've taken our toaster here, we've taken it all apart, taken the casing off, and what we've done is we have removed one of the heating elements from inside here and detached it from the power source. And what we've done is we've attached it to the top drive bay here. wired it with a simple circuit, your simple cord going in through the back, wired straight to the switch here, on off light switch, standard switch, straight to the heating unit. Okay, so we've put it all together. Now it's time to test it. Let's go.
done? Nope. No. Okay, uh, go ahead. Well, we tripped the breaker. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. You ready? Oh my gosh, the plastic! <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> All right. So it did work. It technically worked. But um, let's review the parts we did and if they see if they worked. All right. First, our switch worked really well. The power worked really well, and it seemed as though we had a lot of power running to the the heating unit itself because it was glowing. You could tell it was glowing really orange, and it was really hot. It kicked the toast in about 10 seconds. Normally, a toaster takes like a minute. So that worked, I guess. Um, but things that did not work. On our heating source, as you can see here, the heating source melted the insulation, so next time we need to use a thicker cable. Another thing we should have done different is we used the computer's power supply to power the CD-ROM drive. What we should have done is wired a separate DC or AC adapter to plug straight into the wall because the power supply itself melted and overheated, causing the power supply to go out. So we've officially hacked this uh, toaster computer we got here. Now, on our next episode, we are going to hack a computer monitor, and we are going to insert a rotisserie um, chicken slash shish kebab cooker in here with more toaster parts. That's our next episode. Thanks for joining us for Hack the Toaster. I'm Gear.